Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, Google Chrome version 141 has now made its way to the general public and rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world. And 141 is now the latest stable version. Now, once the update has been applied, version and build is sitting on 141.0.7390, 0.54 or 0.55, either or. Once again, if you're running Linux, Mac or Windows, on version 141 means your browser is fully patched and up to date. Now, first of all, this is where we would talk about security fixes. And according to the change log, there are no security fixes that have rolled out with version 141. So that means that this week, there are no weekly security fixes. And this is the first time in five years, as far as I can recall while running this channel, that a version has rolled out without any security updates. So quite strange, unless there is a zero day that Google doesn't want to get into the wrong hands, so it doesn't publish the information to prevent it from getting into the wrong hands, but I seriously doubt it. So there we go, no security fixes, but Google does say version 141 contains a number of fixes and improvements. And the fixes are obviously taking place under the hood, and those are only available in the Chromium log, which is very hard to understand for your average home user. But nonetheless, if you were experiencing any issues, then make sure you get your hands on 141 sooner than later, because it could be patched with this latest stable release. Now, just a quick overview as to what is new. First of all, just to mention this first one. Google says that Chrome on iOS now has a design called Liquid Gloss that makes everything look softer with rounded corners and updated menus. So basically it's got a new look for iPhones and iPads. And then there's better autofill. So if you signed into Chrome with a work or school account, it will now automatically save and use your autofill information and settings. And next up, Gemini in Chrome. And this is something I posted on quite in detail when Gemini was available in my region in early preview, but that changed and it was pulled from my region. So starting with Chrome version 141, Gemini will now start rolling out to Google Workspace users. So it's, it's hidden behind a paywall that have access to the Gemini app in the United States. So that's very limited at this stage. And basically what that means, it'll basically allow you to ask questions about the web page you're on very similar to what we've seen with Copilot in Microsoft Edge and also Copilot Vision over on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And once again, if you are in an enterprise environment, so quite a lot of focus on enterprise environments in this latest version, there are new tab page footer improvements. So basically, if you find yourself in that environment, this version will now display a default managed by notice on the new tab page footer so it'll be here at the bottom somewhere for all managed browsers and once again something i thought would make its way into version 141 but didn't are the new split view tabs where you can view two tabs simultaneously in one browser window it still hasn't made its way into the stable and i cannot understand why not in preview it's working flawlessly as far as I'm concerned, but for some reason Google still doesn't push it out yet and hasn't pushed it out yet to the stable version. So no split view yet. If you want to know how to enable it before it rolls out to stable, I have posted a video which will be linked down below and in the end screen where you can enable where you can enable the new splits view if you so wish. And then there's also a new search page redirection for malicious extensions where basically this new feature will disallow or prevent malicious extensions from hijacking and redirecting search queries entered into the address bar or search box to an attacker-controlled URL. So that's basically a security feature taking place under the hood and behind the scenes, so to speak. Now that's more or less, guys, what's new in version 141. A very light release, really without even any security updates rolling out. But I know you're all asking the question, what about the workaround for MV2 extensions like uBlock Origin? And the good news is, as you can see, my uBlock Origin is still working even after this update. 
And I have checked on both my devices running this latest stable version and everything seems to be fine. I even, I even deleted uBlock Origin, downloaded the latest version, upgraded to version 1.66 and the workaround is still working. And I'll leave the video for how I managed to get uBlock Origin back and working in Chrome version 140, the previous release, which will still apply to this version. I'll leave it linked down below in the end screen because it's helped a lot of folks out. And if we head into our experimental flags page, temporarily unexpired M139 flags is still available and allow legacy extension manifest versions is still available on both my devices running this latest stable version. So really, you don't have to do anything. I just uninstalled it to double check that it would reinstall the uBlock Origin extension for the purpose of this video so I can put it out there to give you more information. And I didn't even have to change temporarily unexpire M140 flags. I left it exactly the same and uBlock Origin is still working so you don't really have to change anything but if something does change after posting this video obviously I'll let you know and provide hopefully another workaround. But if you're asking the question, no change for MV2 extensions and the workaround to keep uBlock Origin up and running in this latest stable version. So that's more or less what's new guys in version 141. And obviously there is quite a lot taking place under the hood for developers and so on. But I thought those would be the main points that your average so-called home user would be interested in. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.